The head of Tasmanian timber giant Guns believes the forest industry has lost its war with environmentalists. The company is pushing ahead with plans to move away from logging native forests and towards plantation. It's urging others in the industry to do the same, but the suggestion's been met with criticism. At a forest industry conference in Melbourne, the Gun CEO conceded defeat. He believes the public debate on native forest logging has been waged and won, with industry the loser. This commands us to work with them to create a future without this conflict that moves them from being in opposition for our products and processes to being supportive. Mr Lestrange says peace talks between the industry and environmentalists are progressing well. He credits Gunn's willingness to move out of native forests as a reason and says that's been driven by a decline in the public demand for wood products. This may well mean transitioning to, transitioning to plantations, but move we must. Fiat accepts a plantation-based business plan may be good for guns, but claims it won't translate to the rest of the Tasmanian forest industry. It's accused the company of bowing to public pressure in a bid to secure a social licence for its pulp mill. It does cause enormous concern at the way in which they're going about this process, which will injure a lot of other smaller sawmillers and industry players, um, and guns don't appear to be having much regard for that. Another 120 jobs at Scottsdale are on the line as guns reviews its softwood operation. The opposition's accused the Resources Minister of failing to secure their employment by not putting a 300,000 tonne North East Pine resource to tender when Forest Enterprises Australia went into receivership. That could have meant that if Guns had been the successful purchaser, that they could have underpinned the jobs and the economy of the North East by putting that resource back into Scottsdale. Brian Green has dismissed the claims. The advice I've had is that uh, FEA have fulfilled all of their contractual uh, obligations with respect to uh, the wood supply agreement and therefore it's not possible to change. The Minister says even if it was, it would be up to Tasmanian wood growers which owns the resource. Jane Bestwick, ABC News.